around and check it. Let me see what I got on the phone. If anything, just move the chair back a little bit. All right, Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahab, Dash. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. All right, um, to you all, we say greetings. Uh, I'm the brother Yeshai. Got the brothers here with me. Shalom, my brother Ash. Brother Kanamat. All right, we're here through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahashah to do a lesson, Lord willing, that's edifying. All right, so uh, the brother we are here in Tampa, you know, so we started thinking upon a lesson of what we can do to edify the Lord. And so, you know, it's all through the spirit. It's a, just flowing through the spirit. But um, we t entitled it the Space Force versus the Lord, okay? Because in these latter days, you're going to have uh, you're going to have Esau Edom, the current ruling nation, all right? Uh, who's going to be uh, under the subjection of it, under Yahweh Bashim Yahashah and under the Israelites, all right? But, of course, they shall think in these latter days to fight against the Lord, all right? They're going to think that they can, they can take up arms with the Holy of Holies, man, with the Holy One of Israel, and they think, and His Son, and they think that they're going to win that war. But the Scriptures say differently, all right? So, let me brought this guy down. Revelation 19, verse 19, reads, And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. You know, the little A that the beast man being Esau Edom, all right, and all his uh, military might. And then it mentions, and the king, so all the other nations as well, all right, all the, the king, Kim Jong Un and the uh -huh. president Chai and all them, <laughs> they all gonna come up against the Lord. You know, they gonna, like, well, who was it, uh, Ronald Reagan? Yes. You know, if an if, if, uh, uh, outside invader comes, you gotta join forces. And now you got the Space Force, you know, officially been passed, you know, that's been in the works, but now it's official, you know, that's there's, there's a, what is it, the, the sixth branch of the military, the yeah. fifth Calm. branch of it, you know, it's just like the Air Force, now you got the Space Force, you know, mm -hmm. so wh what do you think that's all about, man, because oh. yeah, they know the Lord's coming back in the, in the chariots, man. Well, like, at the end of the day, why would, the, uh, why would outer space have to be, uh, I forget what the term that they use, but why would it have to be governed? You know what I mean? If there's nothing out there, you know, and they, they like to, you know, Esau, and they'll make you think that there's aliens out there and all kinds of bug out shit. But if there's nothing out there, why would you spend what they spent? $738 billion, all right, on this on this uh, department, this branch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why would they do that? If Why would you put such, you don't put, you know what I mean? If you don't, you don't put uh, high money on a, a bet that you think you're going to lose. You don't yeah. put high money on something that doesn't exist. Okay, but they know through the spirit, and that's why you know now Donald Trump is talking about the prophets of doom. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of, kind of feel like you want to say something. Okay, yeah, you know, so the, the, through the spirit, they know that these things are going to come to pass. They know that uh, Yahweh Shmi Al Shai is about to come wreak havoc on this planet Earth, man. All right, they, they, they see the signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They see the signs that uh, the signs that we see. It is so it. right now. Scared. Yep. Because yeah. the, the UFO sightings are increasing, man. Yeah. So they got Esau, you know, on the ropes, man. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what to do. So the only thing he can do is be carnal about it and, and you know, try to prepare it, you know, mm -hmm. with, which he's going to fail miserably at, you know. Con. Those UFO sightings are increasing rapidly, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Con. Yes, I'm ready. Second Ezra uh, 13. Let's start at 1. And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed and dreamed by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. Mm -hmm. And when he had turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that, that were seen under him. Mm -hmm. And that man is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. As when you go to Revelation first chapel, first chapter, every eye shall see, you know, mm -hmm. men uh, wailing. Sure well, yeah, you know, so... They were scared. You know, this, this big black, so called black guy, <laughs> you know, on the biggest chariot, where Ezra, uh, you know, uh, described as a mountain. 
And uh, that's what the thing, because people are programmed to think of, you know, movies and, you know, uh, uh, some Martians in there. Yeah. But they, so they're going to be scared. They, they don't know that that's the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. There it is. This is the man that people claim to, to worship. But they're going to be afraid because they don't know it's him, mm -hmm. you know. They're going to, like they call it an alien invasion, you know. But really, it's it's our salvation. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a, it's a, a token of their, their destruction, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna be, they're gonna be, in, 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 people are gonna be having heart attacks from that yeah. site, man. Yeah. And it says a curse, is a curse unto the world. Yeah, the, 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 the Zef, uh, Zephaniah yeah. five, mm -hmm. Zechariah five, Zechariah five. That's right. Those UFOs, man, are <laughs> <laughs> they, man. These people are gonna completely bug out at the sight of those UFOs, man. You know, it says that men's heart shall fail. Yep. You know, these, these these men, these people are gonna completely break down. You know, just the Lord is like they gonna instantly wanna give up the spirit, man. You know, and that's because that hey, it says that the angels and the chariots are dreadful, man. All right, and when something brings dread upon you, it ain't, it's not a light thing, man. You know, and, uh, somebody you know that that one in Psalms about uh, the Lord coming with His thousands of saints. Sixty-eight, sixty-eight, kind. That's it, brother. The water. Oh, that was get that. Yeah, that was from my spirit. Uh, Psalms sixty-eight, and um, let's see. Psalms sixty-eight, and uh, this. Uh, Oh, Psalm 68, 17. The chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. You see that? So the Lord, this says the chariots of the Lord are 20,000. All right? Hey, and this is many chariots, man. There's going to be many chariots. And so one chariot is going to the fathership is going to have these people bug the hell out, man. It might I be know. the size of America. Yeah. You know, for all we know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that, that, that chapter is going to go into that, that the brother was reading. You know what I mean? But it says uh, even thousands of angels. So when you, you know, those angels and they come in those chariots, man, it's going to be a, a, a heavenly but terrible sight, man. All right. And these, these people going to fall at the sight of the Lord, man. You know? Yeah. Something literally out of this world, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you, you see the movies and you're like, man, that's crazy. But wait till it actually imagine because you know now you see chariots you usually see lights most of the time you know quick but when they just sitting there and you mm -hmm. see you able to see the detail in them you know that's if you see the material they made from, that's when that's what's gonna spook people man uh, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they're not gonna be hiding in the cloud mm -hmm. exactly yep. you know you gonna really see it mm -hmm. they're coming out of the skies out of that cloak man yep. and, and you know if you think about um uh, Esau and his version of chariots that he creates on on, on the movies and shit, they, they're not even going to touch that, man. Mm -hmm. They're not going to touch the design or the graphic or the, you know, the uh, the great artistry that the Lord made with the chariots, man. You know, so when people, the, your eyes are going to be like, what the fuck? Like, I've never seen nothing like this before, you know? And so when <laughs> people are going to die, people going to, and then that's the thing, the, the, the world is going to know that that's Yahweh Shai coming. Because the the prop the word the word is going out, man. Mm -hmm. So you know all these people when they thoughts about aliens and shit, the word is going out that the men of the Lord and the angels and Yahweh Shai is coming back on those chariots. So it's gonna be like, hey, these these men were right, mm -hmm. you know. Especially when they see those men going up to those chariots. God, God. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing though. You know, those those are that's the Lord's army. You know, mm -hmm. those are like the battleships, so yep. to say. Yep. You know, his chariots. Mm -hmm. You know the. His, He's gonna be fighting again. Esau's actually thinking he's gonna be able to <laughs> take one down, man. Like it, it, that's how you know he's so full of shit. Talking about Roswell, a, 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 a ship crash. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> that ship crashed. <laughs> you never caught one. You never, you never uh, shot at one. Mm -hmm. But when when that one day crash. come, oh, you're gonna be able to do it. Yeah, you fucked it. out. Mm -hmm. And that's that. Uh, that's why he got like Area Fifty One. Mm -hmm. See, Esau is the uh, king of craftiness mm -hmm. and subtlety. You know, so. What he does is he'll tell you he got this secret government agency that got stuff that nobody else has. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got we got ships and aliens down here. You know where did they come from? Because Esau, Esau is trying to perpetuate like he has the rulership. Yeah. All right. So if you feel like oh we got things that are out of this world, you make people minds things that you have to control, and that's what part of like when they did um uh, 9/11. They they did not eleven. They they didn't even care that it got out that uh they the ones did it, mm -hmm. you know. Because at the end of the day, of you they they trying to they trying to be like the Most High, and like I I but I kill it and I make it alive. You know what I'm saying? So they they want to want you to think that they controlled it, that they pulled it out, and that they can do anything mm -hmm. to you. That's what they want, you know. Okay, okay you can finish on this. Second Ezra thirteen, um, four. 
when whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice, like as like as the earth fell it, when it fell in fire. Those that, that light, laser beam, that concentration of heat coming out of his mouth, out of the mouth of the chariot. Frying you niggas, man. <laughs> You know? Zapping the power, man. Right. You know? Beat the dust. Because you know? that's that's Esau try to recreate that, but he can't. He can't do it on the level like that. Mm-hmm. You know, he can make little like lasers and shit, but he can't do it on the con- that concentrated. Mm-hmm. Where you can just zap somebody to dust, man. Yeah. Esau would yeah. love to do that because yeah, yeah. you know his blessing is the sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he would look like, man, how can we do that shit? You know, and that's what that's like a uh, that cartoon with uh, what's the Mar- the Martian man? Y'all remember? Uh, the little green on bunny, the, uh, bunny? on Bugs Bunny, bunny he had the, yeah. the green Martian. helmet. Yeah, the Martian. The Martian yeah, he used to have the disintegrating yeah. gun. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he used to zap you. You, you know, yeah. that's you. that's a, the Lord's technology right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't get it wrong. You saw, do got lasers that you know that are very high concentrated, but nothing like what the Lord's bringing. Right. You know, right? Absolutely. Five. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was, there was gathered together a multitude of men. Of men out of the number from the four winds of heaven to, to subdue the man that came out to sea. That's gonna be in the midst of World War Three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hey, and while all they fighting each other, what are they gonna do? They gonna like in the war? What was it all? Uh, uh, World of Worlds. World of Worlds. Con. They, they all came together. Everybody got to fight. Bring out the tanks. Bring out the jets. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's because you know, imagine that you you in the middle of a war and then these chariots just start showing up. You gonna stop shooting at each other and be like, "Yo, <laughs> we gotta shoot whatever this is," you know? But it's gonna it's gonna fail miserably, man. It's it's not even gonna be a battle, really. It's gonna be a landslide victory. You know, the Lord is gonna play with them because like they the chariots do now, they'll go around the fighter jets, you know, you know, go around them, uh, deactivate missiles and shit. Mm-hmm. You know the other one? I think it was Iran, or Iraq. They was trying to shoot at it. Yeah, it was just missing. Kind of, mm-hmm. man. So imagine when all all of the chariots come and the Lord comes, you know. Kind of. And they they had this guy, uh, brother, posted a video about uh you know he was in the uh, Air Force. Uh, I don't know, probably like in the fucking seventies uh, or eighties or something. And he was talking about how he saw. He said this thing. He he basically saw, he saw a chariot. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, man, like they put it. They told us to follow it. They couldn't keep up with it. You know, and then he said, uh, you know, they were looking. They, they were like, yeah, the, the, it's where you are. He said, it, it just dropped. And he said, anything that moved that fast, it would have to make a sonic boom. It would have to make a sound. You would have seen it, anything. He said, man, it was so fast. He was like, I don't know if it's from here, and I don't know if it's not from here. He knew it wasn't from here, man. He said, at that time, they had the finest fighter jets that were made in the world. And they said they couldn't keep up with it, man. He said he was, they would go, and he said, next thing you know, he said he got out of there, man. Wow. You know, and so, yeah, it defied gravity, man. Yeah. And then turn on a dime, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. No the, G forces. Ezekiel man. says that it says they turned and they went down. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it can it don't have to uh, turn like a fucking uh, jet. You know, yeah. gotta make that turn. Yeah. You know, it can up, down, left, right, diagonal, however it want to turn, man. You know. Yep. And then those then on those jets, man, it, it creates G forces when they're trying to turn and shit. And if you're not trained for that, you'll pass out. You know. For, that ain't a problem on the chariots, you know. Mm-hmm. You just turn instantly, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. or disappear, right. you know, because <laughs> disa- right. they're interdimensional vehicles, mm-hmm. man. They just leave the dimension. You you can't even see them yeah. pop up behind you, you know. Yep, that's how you know the uh, the angels be like fucking with Esau and mm-hmm. shit because they could just if they didn't want to be seen, they could just yeah. get out of there. But they be fucking with Esau. <laughs> like, all right, let me go fuck this one. Uh, to puff him up, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like scripture say that pride of his heart is deceit, and he actually think he's gonna be able to fight the Lord, <laughs> man. That's a that's a that's a that's a bad uh, uh, delusion, man. That's a horrible delusion. Mm-hmm. That you think you can fight the Lord, you know. Uh, but good, you know that that's gonna make for a, a great ending, you know. Mm-hmm. And then the movie. Yep, absolutely, bro. Six, but I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up on it. That's that cherry. Yeah, it could be the size of America. It could be the size of the moon. Yeah, yeah. All right? Every eye going to see. But I would have seen the region or place where out where out, where out the hill was graven, and I could not. You know, he, he, you know, he described it as a mountain. He was looking to see if it really was a mountain. Right. Like, he could, you know. And, and it, that's in the sky. You know, that's above your head. So, you know, he like... You trying to look like where is the end? Right, end, end <laughs> you know that that's in like you know brothers. You know we brothers kind of and this is the thing you'll notice about brothers. Brothers, especially at nighttime, you always see brothers just walk out the house and heads be up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say in Luke the twenty first chapter, look up because our redemption is not. 
you know so when you think about uh walking outside and seeing the vastness of the sky and realizing like of a chariot was to cover that man that's that's tremendous man as far as the eye can you know? see yep and, and as far as the eye can see and the thing about we we grateful because the lord gave us the knowledge to understand that this is what's coming but these other people they're gonna be like what the hell you know like all right you know where you can go? and that's an, that's another thing it's like a a ceiling you know, that the, the America's going to have a ceiling on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you think about people, are, oh, I can run left, I can run right, somehow I can go up, you can't go down. So there's going to be a ceiling. It's like you trapped. You know, it's going to, uh, it's like claustrophobia yeah. <laughs> within the earth, you know, where you, you tight spaces you can't get out of. Hey, they're not, they're going to be claustrophobic because they're not going to know how to escape the dangers of your house. Mm -hmm. And imagine when the, they, just from the, the side of it, people are going to be spooked, yeah. you know, dying. Imagine when they start zapping people, <laughs> individual people, you know, these niggas standing next to you get zapped, yeah. you know. Your son, or your yeah. daughter, your yeah. dog. Just, just <laughs> right. instantly disappears, right. just turns into dust. Right, no, no blood, just gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, damn, he get caught up in a chair. Right. No, he just, he's, next, he's still there in the dust form, though. All right, man, man just turn pure ashes, yeah. bro, you know, put put that in the fucking, uh, you know, the jar. Yeah. 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 God. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. And after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, but yet durst fight. Because mm -hmm. yeah, those those guys uh, flying them jets, man, they're going to be sh shitting their pants, but they're still going to have to fight, man. The Lord going to put the spirit on, t uh, on them to fight. Yeah, part of my heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and whatever the space was. You know, because I, I see when uh, Trump was just unveiling the logo or the like the, the patch, whatever, for the for the uniforms. And it was like you know just some bullshit, but they had like some some space type jets, you know, behind them and shit. So you know whoever they, if you get drafted into the or not drafted, but if you join the space force, you're, you, you this is what you what it's talking about. <laughs> this, this is you, you know. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, you it was just funny you mentioned that you know the badge, but also you know the uniforms. You know they created the uniforms and they look like camouflage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a big joke online and shit. Like, why, why, why would you, why would you need camouflage in outer space? You know what I'm saying? Because camouflage, the reason for camouflage is because, um, you know, like this brother got the army fatigue on. It's because the greens, the browns, they they go well with the jungle. Yeah. They go well with your environment. Yeah. You you got the lighter brown camo for like the camo, desert. Yeah. You know, you even got the Arctic tundra uh, yeah. uh, camo, the yeah. white. Delicious. You know, so why why would you need that color cam uh, camouflage for the space? But they know that this this fight is gonna come to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know that they're not really gonna be in outer space fight. They, this fight is gonna the Lord is gonna bring the fight to to America yeah. to the earth, man. It's gonna be in the in the in the heavens, yeah. you know, yeah. the, the atmosphere, right, right, right. But it ain't gonna be in the in the, in the, in the outer the space, exosphere, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. He can't even you know access that. Yeah, exactly. Then, he saw be up there. He he be coming back all paralyzing shit. You know, <laughs> he can't handle being up there. Right, hell no, man. Yeah, them, and them fucking jets, they, they ain't getting past there, man. Mm -hmm. Them shits are... They can only go so yep, high, you yep. know. As he got bounds, he can't pass. Uh -huh. yep. Nine, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lift up his hand nor held a sword nor any instrument of war. Mm -hmm. But only I saw that he sunk out of his mouth as it had been a glass of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempted. So the, that chariot's not going to have to do It's going to sit there and just blast niggas, man. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to have to do no maneuvers, you know, throw out flares to, to you know, uh, to, to make the missiles miss. <laughs> nah, he's just going to sit there and blast people, man. Like a video game. Yeah. Shit. Just like, getting busy. And then, the, uh, you know, like they showed in the movie Independence Day, they, they probably got, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, shields, man. You know, them missiles ain't gonna do, they gonna be trying to shoot nukes at the Lord. And shit. Yeah. They ain't gonna do nothing, man. They're gonna blow up in midair. And then when the smoke clears, it's still gonna be there. Yeah, mm. yeah. shooting nukes, bro. That's how you know. When you, when you all else fails, you're like, hey, yo, shoot these nuclear missiles. When you, you know you become psychotic when you yeah. shoot nuclear missiles in your own atmosphere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they're like, hey, we gotta destroy this. But it ain't gonna happen. And that's the beautiful part about Independence Day. Yeah. Just seeing, seeing them blowing up and they can't do nothing. But of course, Esau had to manipulate yeah. a way to yeah. where he won. Put you know a virus in the hard drive. Come on, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 You know, I, but I want to mention because the verse you read before that, you said, um, you know, he, the Lord's going to harden the heart of the, uh, them. It's just like in the times of Egypt, man. 
You know, he hardened the heart of, of, of the Pharaoh. Yeah. We were just discussing that last night. You know, he hardened the heart of Pharaoh, so he's going to harden the heart of these people. Mm -hmm. All right? To, the modern because Egyptians. The yeah. modern day Egyptians. And, he said, and, you know, and so the thing is, he said, um, we were talking about it. We were saying the reason, you know, uh, another reason the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart was because Pharaoh really didn't want to let the children of Israel go. Mm -hmm. You know, he wanted to hold them, but out of his fear, he like, all right, I think about letting them go. So the Lord like, nah, we going to make you. You want to be a boss? You want to be this hard ass? You don't want to let my people go? All right, I'm going to put that spirit on you to where you're going to hold him. You're going to ride this out. And that's the same thing that yep. the Lord going to do to them, man. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. um, um, 11. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire and the flame of breath and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude, which was prepared to fight and burnt them up, every one, so that upon upon a sudden of a innumerable Multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and the smell of smoke. <laughs> you know, so all them, all them armies that, are, like we read in Revelation nineteen and nineteen, the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies, all that's gonna be the Lord just gonna zap them, man. And then all you gonna see is dust and smell smoke, man. Like you ever burn, you ever burn something, you smell it, you get it, you know. That's all you gonna see, man, and smell. And it's gonna, you know, that, it's gonna be burned flesh too. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like that's. That's gonna be an eerie, awry smell, bro. You know, fucking burned flesh and bone, like, and you know, people ain't never smell like you got flesh, bone, all that shit just being burnt up. It's gonna be a terrible smell, yeah. like that stench. Mm -hmm. Yep. And all their vehicles too, you know, the jets, all that's gonna just evaporate, man. That's all the billions, millions and billions of dollars they spend on this is gonna be in an instant, just just eradicated. Yep, a know? tank. Imagine yep. a tank just getting <laughs> one shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they like shit. That's the best thing we got. Mm -hmm. You know, it took so long to make. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All right. When I saw this, I was afraid. Afterwards, afterward, saw I the same man come down from Thunder Mountain and call unto him and another peaceable multitude. And there came much people unto him, where uh, some were glad, some were sorry, some of them were bond, and others, and others some brought of them that were were afraid or offered. Fuck it. Then was I I sick through great fear, and I awakened and said, Thou hast showed thy servant wonders from the beginning, and hast counted me worthy that that thou shouldest receive my prayer. So that's a, that's a wonder the Lord showed Ezra, man. You know, he showed him that, 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 you know, he, and he was sick. He was afraid. He was sick after seeing that vision, man. Because he literally saw the, 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 in the World War Three, then the Lord returns and he seen me go down, man. He, the Lord showed him that vision. Mm -hmm. You know, and he, even, even the man of the Lord was afraid. So how much more them that are going to fight against him? But yeah. that's good. They, there's fight, man. Yep. Yeah. You shall deliver me in those days, mm -hmm. you know. I got a quick question. Uh, Second Ezra 16 and 11. It says, The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so we were talking about those chariots, man. And the Lord's going to beat them to powder, e even if he didn't use the chariots. You know what I'm saying? But that's going to be a literal powder, man. These people are going to be disintegrating and falling left and right. You know, and, and the, the crazy thing is, you people, like the brother said, your children, you know, people have that effectual love for their children. Well, Edomites, though, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. But, uh, you know, people typically have that effectual love for their children. And so to see your child just getting zapped away, you know, see your wife getting zapped away, you know, and to see your house and everything, that's what, hey, the thing is, you, you, you nations and you current rulership, man, mm -hmm. you know, and so the Lord is going to usher in a new rulership. And, and that's, that's, that's why we're not sitting here trying to build up America. Why we're not sitting here trying to influence the ways of this world. We we want this to be taken down by our Lord, man. We're waiting for that war. We're waiting for the the, the war of Armageddon, the war of Yahweh Shah, man. We're waiting for that to take place, man. So everything that you know can be beaten to power, so that we can rebuild and start afresh, start anew. You know. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, keep going. Nah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. Um, close out on this. Um, okay. This is Revelation chapter twelve, verse seven, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought it and his angels. So again, the, you know, we read in Revelation 19 about the beast, all right? And the dragon is synonymous with the beast, all right? The, those are interchangeable terms, all right? So, so mainly Esau is going to be the one leading the charge because you you got, you know, when we, we talk about the beast, you know, and, yeah. and, and the dragon, that, 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 you know, that encompasses the Russians as well because back in the Rome, during the Roman Empire, it wasn't, you know, 
through Russian Empire or nothing like that. It was just desolate wilderness. Mm -hmm. So this Esau Edom is still or the Russians is still part of the dragon. It's just not part of the you know what, the, the modern day EU and NATO. But mm -hmm. nonetheless, they still gonna be fighting against the Lord. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, it says uh, verse eight and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. All right, so you know they it's gonna again they they're not gonna prevail in any way you know they're not gonna take down one chariot they're not gonna be able to do nothing and then it says uh neither was their place found anymore in heaven because what they this is their heaven yeah. and that they, they, when you have a returns it's to destroy their kingdom man you know uh, last verse says uh, verse nine and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Mm -hmm. So there you go, man. That old dragon, that serpent, the mm -hmm. devil, the devil, mm -hmm. Satan. You know, Esau, mm -hmm. Edom. He gonna be cast out. No more shall Esau be able to tell you what you can and can't do, man. Mm -hmm. And him and his minions are all going down, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was it. That's it. Okay. All right, go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom. Is it Thunderbolt? Yeah, I read that uh, Isaiah 14.